Hi YouTube friends, today I'm going to show you how to create a cantilever or inline uh, shocks for your crawler. So basically this is what I'm talking about. Um, a cantilever dampener is one where it's not mounted um, on the shock tower like over here. It's actually mounted along the side of the um, the frame so that it you know so it sits as flush as possible to the frame um and the reason why you want to do that is because like for instance i'm gonna this is my mst uh, cfw chassis it's a couple years old I'm, i use i use it for test purposes like for instance i want to mount this um you know tamiya hilux pickup body on it and the way that it is is that if I try to mount the body on a shock tower it's it's it forces it you know it basically lifts the body too high and so you know it looks really unnatural looks really weird but if I have it where the shocks are are parallel or flush with the frame then you know there's a little bit more um, it looks a bit more, more natural. Oh no, I, not natural is not the right word, but it it doesn't look so lifted up where it's ridiculous. So basically, yeah, that's the that's this is what a cantilever shock absorber is, and then I'm going to show you how you can uh, build one on your own. I know that there's some kits that are available, but they are really really expensive, and I'm not sure if they're really worth it that much. So the only thing you're going to need is um, a set of these and I got these from Howie Kane and I will post a link to this um, so you can get them and I last I checked a week ago they were still available and so definitely you can get them and then you're also going to need um, a turnbuckle okay so one of these guys okay and then um, some spacers and you know the size of the spacer is going to be dependent on how wide or how big your your dampeners are okay so basically you see here I have a spacer right here and then I have a spacer um, right here um, and then what I did was I just basically bolted you know these little turn things onto the frame itself and then I mounted one end of the dampener to it and the other end of it to you know to the frame offset with a dampener so you see here like you know if I you look right above it um, there's you know the dampener so that there's you know there's clearance for the dampener to uh, to articulate all right so it's not rubbing against the the uh, the frame itself and then I mounted this is where uh, the shock would go but I mounted the um, the tie bar or I can't remember what you call it you know but this guy all right I mounted on the shock mount uh, attached to the axle and then the other end of it goes to one of um, to this end of the lever, um, you know, I'm just gonna call it the uh, the L the L lever. Okay, and so what you do, what that does is that it basically allows the shock to articulate. All right, you can see right here, um, but while remaining flat or as flat as possible to the um, to the frame. All right. So you don't have like this shock that is protruding really high from the frame. Like you can see over here, this side right here, this is normally how the, on most crawlers, the um, dampener would be mounted, would be, you know, mounted on a damper, um, you know, frame. And, um, and then, you know, then you would have the, you know, the, uh, the ampener action and going this way all right up and down 
and then by mounting it flush cantilever style like over here you wind up saving about almost 30 millimeters of clearance like for instance you know if i measured the shock tower from the frame it's about 40 but i mount if i measure uh the cantilever um l thing it's about 10 so you you know it's about 10 at this highest point so you do actually save about you know almost 30 millimeters worth of tr of of clearance to mount your pickup body all right now this is you know and the and the shocks work exactly the same all right you can see here you know they work exactly the same the only thing is that there's a slight penalty because you do lose a little bit of articulation um like for instance on this side where the dampeners are mounted on the shock towers you know it does articulate a little bit further down and further up than on the other side all right if you look carefully you can see that you know there's a it does lose some articulation you know i would say maybe about 20 percent i mean that may be a big deal to you guys but it's not to me I, i'm more into scale than into pure crawler um i i like to make it look as realistic as possible in terms of the um, appearance so if i lose maybe 20 percent of articulation on the rear dampeners then i'm okay with that so anyway um i just want to create this video you know quickly to share with you a method for for building a dampener cantilever uh inline shock system on your crawler without spending a lot of money and i think this i think this piece right here from um from Cobby king i think it was about six dollars so in total you're gonna spend like less than ten dollars on on this system whereas i know that they sell them in kits and they go for like 50 to 60 dollars sometimes 70 dollars and they don't work that well as as from what i understand so anyway um Hope this been, has been helpful to you. And uh, if you have any suggestions or comments or questions, then leave a comment below. And as always, please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, that motivates me to continue creating content to share with you my appreciation for the hobby. Thanks a lot.